Hi everybody! Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the iPhone cord illusion that I just previewed. It's a relatively simple illusion because we're using a very simple subject, but it'll really show you how to use light and shadow to make your 3D image pop. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please subscribe, comment below if you have a suggestion for a future video. I put my Instagram link in the description. I've done tons of other arm and leg drawings as well as full makeups and sketches. So if there's anything on there that you want to see me do a video of, just let me know. Uh, thanks for tuning in and I hope this helps. So today we're going to start with these few basic supplies. These are the things that I'm using but really all you need to make this come to life is black and white paint and a little bit of red. I'm using marker, but you can easily use eyeshadow, um, especially if you want to be skin safe. We're going to start by blocking out the color of the shape of the iPhone cord. I'm going to be using white to do this because for this particular paint, it's easier to layer dark on top of light and not light on top of dark. Next, we're going to pick a light source. For me, I'm choosing the light source being on the left hand side and using black paint to create the shadow on the sides of the shapes. It's really important to stay consistent with your light source. If not, you're not really going to see the 3D illusion pop. We're going to shade lightly out from the side of the subject to make it look as if it, the shadow is fading. That's going to help to add to the realism. Next, I'm just adding some detail work using gold paint and black pen to the end of the iPhone cord. I'm using a peach colored marker to shade around the base of the puncture. Be sure to leave a little space between where the cord punctures the skin and the redness to add to the realism of the effect. Next, we're going to block out the shape of the wire that's coming in and out of the arm. In order to really make this 3D illusion pop, you should stay consistent with your light source. So we're adding the shadow to the cord on the right hand side. Be sure to draw the cord curved like you see in the video because when we add the shadow to the skin, it'll really make the cord look as if it's popping up from the skin. I'm primarily using paints to create this effect, but you can also use your white gel pen and gray markers to do this as well. Similarly to before, we're going to use the peach colored marker to create the puncture part of the wound. You'll notice that I add some darker parts to each puncture in different places and that's just to add a little variation and to not make the entire thing look so uniform. Next, I'm using gray marker to create the shadow on the skin. The reason I'm using marker for this part is because it'll give us that ultra soft look where you can see the skin underneath the marker, unlike using gray paint. You want to shade darker towards the base of each cord where it meets the skin because if you'll notice, if you hold something up to your skin, the shadow is darker the closer it gets to you and lighter the farther it gets from you. So this really adds to the 3D nature of the effect. Next, I'm using the peach colored marker to make the cord look like it's embedded in the skin. You want to do this really lightly because it's easy to overdo this look. Using the gray marker to add the shadow to the right hand side to continue with our light source and a little bit of white to make the highlight. I hope that helps some of you realize how to bring your 3D images to life, whether it's on skin or on paper. If you attempt this illusion on your own, tag me on Instagram at artistjodysteel. The link is in the description. I'll share it to my story and leave a comment on your photo. Um, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.